All right, um, what I'm going to show you guys today here is Steam's big picture mode. And uh, what you're looking at right now is my entertainment center with the doors open and my 55 inch TV. And I have my one of my gaming computers hooked up to it, which I'll show you in a minute. But I wanted to show you this first because this is what it looks like the blank screen here. No Steam is set up, it's just the uh, TV acting as a computer monitor. And um, I know it's dark in here, but right down here, above my finger, that is the receiver that I have my computer plugged in. I do not have the computer in this room. It's actually in the next room over, which I'm going to show you right now. And the computer is on the other side of this wall in my office. So the other side of this wall. And here's a monitor with my computer down there. Sorry, it is dark in here. Move that chair, maybe. Anyway, it's dark in here, but right there is my, oop, right there is my computer. And uh, right there is the monitor that looks exactly the same as my TV. That's important because the way that this is working for me um, is that I want to be able to see my monitor and the TV. I don't want it just displayed to the TV. And the way that you do that is you go right click on your desktop and click on the NVIDIA control panel and uh, you want to come over here to set multiple displays and it won't look like this when you first set it up but uh, you'll see both of your the way that it worked for me is mine showed uh, the monitor on one screen and over here it showed my receiver as another monitor the Denon receiver right there and all I had to do was um, click clone and that means just what you think it does whatever is displaying on this monitor will display exactly on the TV so they're cloned. Alright, so now what you want to do is launch Steam, which I'm going to do here. And what you want to do when Steam is up, if you have not done this already, you want to make sure that you do participate in the Steam beta. You go up to Steam up here, if you can see my mouse, Steam and click on settings on the very first tab that comes up the account tab right here it'll say beta participation you do want to make sure that you are participating in that when you do that in this upper right hand corner you'll have steam's big picture mode you just want to click on that and that loads up and what you see here is my controller and uh, so you can see as I move my controller it is moving around so that's good that's what we want because now bring my wireless controller with me bring it over here and this is now what my TV looks like so um, I'm not going to show you everything about what Steam Big Picture does. I'm just showing you that you can play around with it. Um, it's going to be hard with one hand, but uh, let me try and show you. Okay. Um, if you click on View All Games, um, I have a lot more than this but I'm only showing you what's installed um, if I want to click on that I can do all games that are controller supported which is obviously nice when you're trying to do what we're doing I can do all my games which have 156 games but on this computer I only have installed 10 so we're going to keep it on that um, some of these are brand new I haven't even tried I got them on the Steam sale but uh, right now we're going to show you Burnout Paradise. So we just 
click the uh, A button on the controller and um, go ahead and click play and it says play again or you can configure it um, okay so it is launching slash installing now while we're waiting um, to let you know what's going on um, I have again I don't know if you can see it here hopefully that will the light will readjust but that is my receiver and all I did was I have the wires I have the wires going through the wall I actually just drilled a hole in the wall and you're, you're never gonna be able to see it but uh, I have uh, basically just going from the computer right through the wall to the back of this and uh, my video card does HDMI and my I, I'm sorry does DVI my receiver does HDMI and I just bought a cable that is uh, DVI on one end and HDMI on the other and that is how I have it set up um, what's kinda odd about this is it's saying it's the first time set up and that's what it's launching performing first time setup um, not exactly sure why it's doing that um, oh that's right I had to reinstall it so I was gonna say I did play it earlier but I did have to reinstall it so sorry about that it's just taking a minute um, and I do have a uh, my sound it's just onboard sound but uh, I do have that going through a uh, SPDIF uh, coax to the receiver as well. Here we go. Let me turn it up a little bit. See, there's my receiver, and now it's displaying when I turn it up. So, uh, this is my old computer, so it's not very beefy. It's only an 8800 GT uh, graphics card processor. I'm just going to take you into the game briefly because I'm only using one hand. Then I'll take you back out. Obviously, the uh, iPhone recorder doesn't do this justice. It uh, looks much better in person. Um, as always, post questions that you have in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer. All right. Welcome to Paradise City, the home of Burnout Driving. From the winding trails of White Mountain. Let's see if I can skip this. It's so bright that it kind of bleaches out the rest of the video. If I just show this, you can't see anything else. Okay, so um, I'm kind of going out of the game here. All I had to do was push the center button. You Xbox people know what that is. I don't even know what that's called. Just call it the center button. So, um, there you have it. Um, I can now game on my dirty, disgusting couch with my controller. We are replacing that couch next week, so I don't mind calling it that. But there you go. PC gaming with Steam. Uh, big screen. And... Uh, it's really exciting to be able to game PC games, my Steam collection, controller supported of course, from my couch. And uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.